Hey, what's going on friends and family? My name is Skyland, and if you're interested in making an MMO, like you just had some far away fantasy of maybe one day participating in the creation of a massively multiplayer online game, then you might want to go ahead and join my Discord, because I think we're just going to go ahead and do that. A minimal MMO, but an MMO nonetheless. And to celebrate, I want to talk about my picks for top 5 Unity MMO, because we're actually going to be, yep, using Unity uh, in our MMO ourselves. Now these 5 games, if you say nay, you can't make an MMO in Unity, well these games said yay, yeah, no, you, you can, they did, it's happening, okay. Anyways, so MMO are big games and Unity is actually a really awesome tool that's uh, easier to use than ever and there's so many awesome tools that are actually on sale right now through Humble Bundle. So if you want to click the affiliate link in the comment or in the description, you can actually purchase pay what you want. It's got little tiers. Humble Bundle has the Humble Unity Bundle and it actually includes tools specifically that are great for making an MMO inside of Unity. Now I'm going to be partnering with some dudes in the Discord, so if you want to join us, please do. But without further ado, here's going to be my picks for 5 Unity. MMO. Alright guys, so starting out our list is a game that I've only played a little bit lightly, kind of, and that's Shroud of the Avatar Forsaken Virtues. This is actually from the mastermind who came up with Ultima and who spearheaded that project. However, it is a very different game, which has a lot of people on shaky ground entering it. But if you go in with wide-eyed wonder and not much expectations, I think you're going to have a lot of fun with Shroud of the Avatar. My first look was, I think, well, and well-received absolutely on YouTube, got me a lot of views, and you guys had a nice reception. A little bit of some outcry over, it's not Ultima, but, uh, you know, it is its own thing, and if you go in like that, I think you can have a good little time. So Shroud of the Avatar is kind of more reminiscent to me of, definitely more closely like to original EverQuest or something like that versus a pure sandbox uh, like you know Ultima Online was and it's definitely gonna I think more feel more like RPG in terms of the storytelling and the questing but uh, hinting on the whole you know point of the video which is it's made in unity I don't think it really looks like it's made in unity it doesn't have a low poly cutesy art style it actually kind of looks a little bit more rough and you know the textures are a little bit more sincere or eh, pseudo realistic I don't know how to exactly explain it but you know it definitely looks like it's taken out of a page of a D&D &D art book or something like that so you can actually make games that look like this in unity Alright guys, next up we have Orbis VR. Orbis VR is apparently self-proclaimed as the first fully realized MMO RPG designed from the ground up for room scale VR, which if you haven't done room scale versus just normal VR, there is a difference. You really will feel it and sweat it. Uh, now, apparently this is going to feature a huge open world with thousands of players, apparently because it's early access and I don't have a VR headset personally myself. However, if you ever get the chance to go to VR Arcade, I totally suggest you do it, but moving on. Dozens of hours of quests, so it is a proper actual RPG, lots of different classes, an interesting drawing mechanic when it comes to casting spells, and a few other things that I think make this game really worthwhile, not just the fact that it is an MMO that you play with a VR headset on your face. There are actual legitimate VR mechanics and a VR feel that I think will make this game worth checking out as soon as you can. If you're an MMO lover and you love the innovation that VR brings and the potential, I mean, we're all hyped. We all, we all watch Sword Art Online, love it or hate it. We all get excited of the fantasy of a VR MMO, and Orbis VR is the first step into that frontier for VR MMO. So yeah, if you wanted to do some weird wickety wackety stuff when it comes to porting to mobile and play it in the browser or uh, make a VR game, Unity has it covered. Halfway on our list, we have a another early access game, or it's really crowdfunded and you can get, you know, early alpha access, whatever, etc. It's early access. Crowfall, guys. Uh, if you don't know what Crowfall is, it's basically uh, this really weird game that it's kind of like focused on PvP, but it's PvEVP and you have this weird crafting mechanic with the bodies, like you actually craft the bodies, sort of, and that becomes like the class slash race that you use, and you kind of pilot them like vehicles in a way. I don't, I don't know, it's kind of inspired by EVE, but regardless, then you take these bodies as you play them, they're your avatars, and you go into different campaigns with them, and these are limited time seasonal kind of things, so you can actually win the game. Crowfall is the MMO that you can win, and even though there's different zones or instances or whatever within Crowfall, it is still truly a massively multiplayer siege, PvEVP, based kind of weird tomfoolery uh, thing that's going on. Now, with all these weird ideas and this more action-based combat, and especially with the whole voxel destruction and you know some of the creation mechanics, Crowfall's gonna need a pretty robust engine, and they chose Unity for that, apparently. Now, Unity's a little bit scary, because it's really not that tried and tested with MMOs, which is why this is only a top five list. There probably are just maybe 10 proper MMO 
Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna do five because, mm. Anyways, Crowfall wouldn't be higher uh, because it's not out yet. Again, Unity as a whole engine, we have to see how it performs with MMOs. Sometimes it does better with lighter games, but we have to see where it goes with Crowfall. How far can Crowfall push the Unity engine? I don't know, I'm excited to see. And frankly, while I have contested its slower pace of development, actually, it's a lot smoother and going, I think, more well overall compared to its competitors, which have already fallen with custom engines and stuff, such as Darkfall and things like that. So Crowfall, you know what? I'm rooting for you, and I think you guys should too. All right, guys, next up, number two on the list is, oh man, a little bit cheating, but again, I gotta keep shouting it out, and that's gonna be Rust. So Rust was made in the Unity engine. In fact, there's probably a lot of survival games made in the Unity engine. I think the forest was, and et cetera, et cetera, we can go on and on. But the difference here is that Rust has the potential to have massive servers. In fact, there are MMO servers in Rust, and there's like MMO mods that make almost like their whole entire game based on Rust, which is based in the Unity engine. So that's really exciting. You guys, uh, click the link in the comments or in the description somewhere. I'm gonna have Nerd Slayer's uh, special uh, actual server that he's doing. He's doing like some medieval Rust thing. I don't know, it's really cool to talk about, and I love shouting that out. So definitely clickety-clack that link. Regardless, um, I think a lot of people like Rust just because, like, it's a simple idea, it's a simple concept, I mean, uh, we've, we've seen a lot of these games, but Rust is the one that kind of, it just allows us to do a little bit more, it's, it's the one that I actually consider an actual MMO, or has that potential to be an actual MMO, of course there's Minecraft and a few others, but Rust is the one, hey, that happens to use Unity, and looks the way it looks, like I said with Shroud of the Avatar, which looks a little bit more sincere, it's not as cartoony, which is what we kind of you really associate with Unity graphics is that low poly art style. Rust, I mean, right? I thought I was actually running in the Unreal Engine, which so many of these other games do in this genre. So, I don't know, pretty cool. Unity, Rust survival game, looks kind of realistic, you know, looks pretty nitty gritty, and it has the potential to be an MMO with certain MMO servers. I don't know, I'm keeping the hype alive with that. And I just want to say, as we end cap here, the discussion on Rust, some people are going to say it's not an MMO as a whole. It's not. No, there are specific MMO servers. But I will say that for this list, I picked specifically games that should have a massively online experience. There are a lot of other IO games or online games or online RPGs or some games that call themselves MMOs like Dead Frontier 2, uh, but they really aren't. So these games have player counts pretty big. They have that MMORPG experience or MMO experience that, uh, you know, you would expect in a custom engine from a AAA game studio, but uh, actually here, it's just Unity. Some dudes got together, they wanted to make a game, and they did, and it happened to be an MMO. So if that excites you to start your own adventure into that endeavor, might be arduous, but still totally doable. All right, and now number one game for my top five Unity MMO, I gotta put the one that I played the most, and that's gonna be Albion Online. And essentially, Albion Online, the easiest and quickest way to explain this game is essentially take RuneScape and EVE, or really more like League of Legends and EVE, and slam those two together, which is gonna kind of be reminiscent a little bit of RuneScape, uh, except mechanically very much League of Legends and macro scale EVE Online, set in a medieval sandbox universe. Now, it's so high on the list, I mean, I like the game a lot, I really appreciate it, and it is truly massive with Zerg versus Zergs in your face. Uh, yeah, no, it gets pretty intense, absolutely, and it's got those big open world bosses. No, it feels like an MMO, and it's a Unity game through and through, but extra bonus cookie points because it's cross-platform. Now, it's not fully cross-platform at this moment. I don't think the, the Android and iOS versions are technically launched, but it is possible to play it, and it is cross-platform. And that was a big decision in the core design of Albion Online, was to be a cross-platform, though focused on PC gameplay, but still cross-platform MMO with a myriad of different ways to play it. And I really appreciate that. If you just want to play it Farmville, you literally can play this game Farmville style. If you just want to be a trader, sure. If you just want to be a gatherer, okay crafter things and stuff uh you want to be hardcore pvp and actually playing competitive 5v5s oh by the way this is another mmo where your guild can actually win in seasons then you get on the pc and you play it as if it was league of legends it's definitely a serious game for serious players that also can branch out into more of a casual sort of gameplay style which is what i really appreciate so if you want to make a game that is you know just just easily cross-platform easily being able to port it and export it to different platforms like browser, PC, or mobile devices, iOS, Android, then Unity makes it probably easier than any other platform at the moment. And it's just so widely accepted that there's so many tutorials out there to teach you how to do this stuff and things. 
and here we have entirely new teams banding together and creating something really cool for a lot of different people. Albion Online is my number one because it kind of embraced that idea and it embraced, I think, a lot of the things that make Unity kind of unique and special. Uh, they just kind of threw it together, jam-packed, and that caused some issues, but at the same time, it's kind of growing pains. And you know what engine is the best to use if you have growing pains as an early developer? I would have to say Unity is the one. So guys, that's gonna be it for my top five Unity MMO. Honestly, not that many MMOs that use Unity. Generally, you do see more custom engines or you see a lot of them kind of just jumping on whatever was the new hype, which is gonna be like Unreal Engine 3 and then 4, and then, you know, those have all their pitfalls. And every engine does have pros and cons, but it's really the skill of, you know, the user. And while Unity is really easy to learn, MMOs is still actually more of like a final frontier when it comes to game development. And a lot of people will say you can't make an MMO as your first game. But if there was an engine to attempt that, well, I think Unity would be the one. Actually, if you do click the affiliate link, which does support me and actually helps fund the channel, then you can get a bunch of awesome Unity games, which are all worth the price in themselves, but then additionally, a bunch of Unity add-ons, which are worth so much more than you are paying. But actually, yeah, it's pretty good at making MMOs. So I'm gonna be attempting that. And if you wanna join us and a few partners in the Discord, please do links in the description as well as in a comment. Clickety-clack those, join us, and let's have a blast. Thanks for watching, guys. My name is Skylint. This is my top five Unity MMO. If you wanna see more top 10 or five or whatever lists and videos like this, please let me know with a thumbs up, guys, and a subscribe if you haven't been here around. So stay around, keep the hype alive. My name is Skylint, and I'll see you again next time.